Salvete Omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek. And today is a very special day. It's the official launch date of the PlayStation 4. And I could scarcely be less excited for it or the Xbox One if I tried. It's possible that something good will be released in the future, something that I'd really enjoy. But, you know, all the launch games pretty much just look like the same games I passed up five years ago. No platformers, no RPGs, no 2D anything. If this is what the future of gaming is like, then bring out the DeLorean, because I'm going back to 1993. So, how shall we celebrate this very special release of a next generation console? Why, by playing something that is the antithesis of everything of that, that that stands for. It's colorful, it's family friendly, it's original, it's Mega Man 4, and we have two robot masters to deal with still. So let's go after Dustman, shall we? The guy with the vacuum cleaner on the head, on his head. This stage has kind of melancholy sounding music, and kind of a melancholy setting, I suppose. We seem to be in some sort of garbage dump. Okay, now really isn't a good time to show off the weapons. Also, first introduction of these enemies, another enemy that showed up in Mega Man 4 that seems like it should be more common than it is, the up and down An enemy that will just randomly come up out of some pits, and there's really no way to tell if, they'll, if they're there or not, unless you pass over them. Needless to say, if you don't know they're there, chances are you run right into them and you fall into the pit. Oh hey, it's one of these things. And he dies. Oh, almost forgot about these. Oh, more of the stupid ladybug things. I hate the stupid ladybug things. Also, this part has a lot of sprite flicker. And pardon me while I drown out the music with the annoying sound of the charge shot, because these guys take more than one uncharged shot to kill. You do not want to rush this part. Be careful. And no, those don't, these do not actually count as, dis as disappearing blocks. Not quite the same principle. Ow. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, hello there, Eddie. Have anything useful for me? Uh, I'll take that as a no. Okay, I think this is a halfway point at this stage. And now the walls are moving, or at least the ceiling is. Yeah, we have these dust crusher things, or whatever you want to call them. And lead needless to say, if you get squished between one of them and another surface, uh, that's instant death. But we can shoot these blocks so we can get through. Of course, rapid fire uncharged shots can drown out the music just as easily. Yeah, it's easy enough now, but now it's getting a little more treacherous. That one goes all the way to the floor, and should have taken out that last block. Let's do that. And that Met keeps respawning on me, and how'd I miss him? Oh, hey, extra life. Nice. Now, if you use a charge shot, it'll take out an entire row of these things in one shot. I still don't feel quite... Okay, there we go. Ow. And he almost knocked me back into the crusher. Really, a pretty good use of the NES's background layers, or layer. The NES only has one, as opposed to the three of the Super Nintendo, and I think the Genesis has two. But you can still make parts of it move at a different rate from other parts, as you can see with the crushers. Super Mario Bros. 3 did the same trick in some of the fortress stages. Okay, I don't think we have anything too threatening still coming up. Oh, hey, another one of these guys. I'm sorry, but none of those were ever... Oh, hey, boss door already! Yeah, I told you. Those guys... Sorry, but they just can't compare to how annoying the original incarnation of them was. The big guy in the first Mega Man game. So we're at Dustman with the full health meter. This is not gonna go well for him. Dustman is pretty easy, honestly. He only does two things. He shoots his dust chunks at you, or he'll try to suck you in. I might actually get hit by this guy if I were asleep. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. I mean, 
If you don't dodge the Dust Crusher at the right time, then one of the pieces will catch you and you'll get hit. But really, Dustman is pretty pathetic as far as Robot Masters go. Yeah, see, there we go. I jumped too early. Oh no, I lost four health. I'm so gonna die. Yeah, you just... The only really thing, real thing you have to worry about with that boss is just being sure to jump at the right time when he's shooting his dust chunks at you. Too late and you get smacked by the big chunk. Too early and you just land in it. And now we get the dust crusher and we turn gray. Or if you really want to be fancy, maybe silver. The dust crusher is not too useful a weapon. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's really nothing special. With that, we only have one robot master left. So I'll see you when we take him on next time.